How many rushing yards did Brandon Marshall have, hmm? Hmm? Welcome to No Filter, guys. You know, fantasy football gets a bad rap because a lot of people go on Twitter when somebody underperforms on their team and tweets nasty, awful, negative, mean things to them. As a person who plays fantasy football, I hate this. A wise man once said, be the change you want to see in the world. I think that was Dennis Rodman. Ben Affleck in Gone Girl, Sammy Davis Jr. I think that is a line from Michael Jackson's Heal the World. So I'm going to do just that. And I'm gonna pay compliments to some of the biggest underperformers in fantasy football from this past week because I think they're still great people and they're really cool and they're still on my special team. Hey, Alshon Jeffrey, hi. You had uh, two receptions for nine yards this week, but you know what? You caught the ball two times more than I did. And you seem like a really nice guy. You're the only guy I've ever heard of named Alshon. And you look like you have eyebrows that naturally don't need to be plucked. They're just two separate eyebrows all on their own. That's pretty much a talent. You are wonderful, and I hope you have a really good day. Hey, Jimmy Graham, you don't need me to tell you that you had zero receptions for zero yards, but you know what? You showed up. You're hurt, and you showed up. Who's in charge of fantasy points anyway? If it were me, I would give you 10 points just for showing up. The defense gets that. You, um, you, you're a saint, no matter what anybody says. And you know what? You are like a human version of a pumpkin spice latte. Yum. Hey, Seattle defense. Hi. You guys put up one fantasy point this week. Um, but that's okay because you're Seattle and that's where like cool people live. Like Seattle's like really cool and like alt rock. And you have nicknames, Legion of Boom. I don't have any nicknames. You are so much cooler than me and you have a lot more friends. Hey, Julius Thomas. You had, what, four receptions for 27 yards yesterday. Yesterday wasn't about you. It was about Peyton, and you took a step back and let him have the spotlight. That is so nice of you. And actually, you didn't even have to do that for me to know you were nice. I can tell by your dimples. You have the cutest little dimples, and it just says, this game isn't about me. I'm just gonna hang out over here and not catch a ball. Hey, Giovanni Bernard, you had negative one receiving yards yesterday. So, how many rushing yards did Brandon Marshall have, huh? Yeah, how many times did Bishop Sankey complete a pass? He didn't have to, not his job. You can't judge him on that. If you judge a sh what is the saying? It's if you judge a fish, it's Einstein. As Einstein says, if you judge a fish on its ability to climb a tree, it will spend its whole life believing that it's stupid. You are not stupid, Giovanni Bernard. You're smart. Keep up the good work, handsome. Hey, Jay Cutler, how are you? You had 190 passing yards yesterday. One touchdown, um, one interception. I believe you fumbled the ball two times. That's okay, because you're, you know, you're Jay Cutler. and. You don't smoke. Also, everybody wanted to marry that girl from that reality show. You did it. Keep doing you and, and be great just like you are. Because you're great. He fucking killed me. Hopefully I've inspired you to do the right thing. Head to Twitter, tag a player who maybe underperformed this week, say something really nice to them, and then use the hashtag special team. Together, guys, we can change the world.